everybody, Mike here from AffiliateMarketerTraining.com. I'm putting an article up on my website right now that goes over what you should expect in the first six months of starting your affiliate marketing business. So everybody else out there tells you that you can start making money right away and you get a million visitors to your website this week, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I do things kind of different. I show people how to start a real business. Um, and this is what you should expect in your first six months building a real online affiliate marketing business. Doesn't look all that gl glamorous, does it? Uh, I started dogfoodinsider.com in January of 2013. So you can see I have zero visitors there. And all through January, really not a whole lot doing, right? Um, I have it sorted right now by week. So the numbers that you're looking at, it's 62 visitors in an entire week. And at this point, in the first, I'd say, month to two months, I was adding at least one new article every day, if not two or three. I slowed that down a little bit as we moved on, but you can see that, I mean, right here, when I'm getting nothing, that's when I was really working the hardest. I mean, I was putting in a lot of work on this website, and check this out, even as we get into March, okay, we're three months after I launched the site, getting 160 visitors, or 100 and, what was that one, 182 visitors in a week. So, you're not really going to make any money with that, okay? You might make a little bit, or if you if you just so happen to pick the right niche, you might get lucky and, and make a, a pretty decent amount from that, but you're not going to become a millionaire, you know, getting 100 visitors <laughs> in, a, in a week. And this is, you know, now we're in April, and I'm still only at 247. See, at this point in April and May, I had hundreds of pages on my website at that point. Um, at least 100, if not 200 pages in the first six months on my site, and I'm still only getting 580 visitors in an entire week. Now, finally around the end of May, early June, things finally start to pick up a little bit. And, uh, and that's when I start seeing, let me fix that there, okay. And that's when I start seeing some real traffic coming in. You know, here I'm at 2,500 visitors in a week in June. Now, at this point, it's 2015, it's March of 2015, dogfoodinsider.com is bringing in almost double that every day. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You can see that I worked you know, real hard for six months just for this amount of traffic, but then here we are two years later, I'm putting in less effort on the site now, and I'm doing more than double what I was doing per week back in 2013 per day now. So I'm getting a little over 4,000 visitors per day on that website right now, and uh, it's climbing. I had a recent spike last week. It spiked up to 5,000, but that's down a little bit now. So hopefully that will come back, but the overall trend is up. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you, what you can expect in your first uh, six months traffic-wise on your website. Dog Food Insider is in a bit more of a competitive niche, so if you find something that's a little more targeted, you might do better than this, but I've started a lot of websites, and this is the general trend on how they look. It takes a long time to get going. So, and here's some of the stats you can see. Um, I know a lot of you are probably new to Google Analytics, and you're wondering, you know, are my stats okay? Um, I'm not saying that these are good or bad, but just a comparison for you. I'm pretty good. If my bounce rate's under 80%, I'm pretty good. I know a lot of people say that's really important, but... I have several websites, uh, affiliate marketing sites, where the bounce rate is over 80%, and I actually do pretty well, and Google doesn't seem to penalize me for that. Plus, on a lot of affiliate marketing sites, remember that your goal is to get people off your site and onto your clients' websites, your affiliate sites. So if somebody comes in to a page and they immediately click over to Amazon.com and they go buy something and close out my site, I get a commission, my bounce rate is high, but who cares? They went made a purchase, made me a commission, and through personal experience, Google does not seem to care. So speaking of Google, let's find out the source of this traffic. All right, so Google is number one, which is uh, usually the case for my websites, followed by Facebook, Bing, Yahoo, and let me look at this. Bing and Yahoo combined don't even get close to what Google is doing. But what I want to do is just sort this by organic Google traffic. I'm going to sort this by week. Because this really gives you a good picture of what I'm talking about here. I always tell people, 
six to 12 months, you're not going to make much money on your website, even if it's just a phenomenal website. And the reason is because the number one traffic source, which is Google. Now, I understand you should diversify your traffic into social media. You can use paid advertising. There's a lot of ways to drive traffic to your website. But Google is the single best traffic source. It's high quality. You get a lot of it if you do it right. And check this out. I'm getting nothing. I'm putting in all this work. I'm getting, you know, here's 26 in a week. In March, I started the site in January, and I'm putting up at least one new article every single day, all the way up until this point, and I get rewarded with 26 visitors. You know what? The unfortunate thing is most people give up right about here. You know, they're like, screw this. This isn't working. I give up. And they were almost there. That's where the snowball effect really starts, is after the, the first six months or so, you start to see some, some decent amount of Google traffic. Okay, so remember, this is only sorted by Google organic traffic, Google search traffic. So here we are, we peaked, um, you know, we'll take this stat here, so 1327 in a week uh, compared to six months earlier, which I was getting nothing. And at this point, you know, again, I'm, I'm three or four times that now with, with Google traffic. So... All the gurus out there like to say, you know, you can start your affiliate marketing business today and be making money by next week, and you can be making $10,000 in a month if you just follow exactly what I do, blah, blah, blah. All right, it's all a bunch of crap. This is what it's going to look like. If you plan on driving traffic to your website through search engines, you're going to be putting in six months of work, and you're not going to be getting anything really in return until Google starts giving you some traffic. And then after the one year mark, again, Google's gonna start rewarding you some more again. Um, and the longer that your website hangs around, the longer you're out there, the more you're gonna get rewarded by Google and the more you're gonna gain trust with the search engines, the more your links are gonna get shared across the web, the more other people are gonna share your stuff in social media. And it's all just gonna happen naturally. You don't have to do some link building campaign. You don't have to do any black cat stuff, just put out high quality content, and yeah, it's not going to seem like it's working. But after about six months, you're going to start seeing search traffic take off. And from there, it's the snowball effect really starts. After about 12 months, you should be bringing in some decent revenue if you picked a good niche, which of course, I talk about how to find a good niche on my website, affiliatemarketertraining.com. Um, and just one last thing, I'll show you some of the stats here. Um, Google organic traffic. So 88% is new acquisitions, and I have a 68.83% bounce rate, which actually I'm very happy with. That's fine by me. Uh, 2.31 pages uh, per visit, which is fine by me also. Obviously, the higher the better, but 2.3 is fine with me. Um, I'm also good with this stat, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. And when I, when I say that these are good stats, I, I don't mean um, as an average or what most people say. Some people might tell me that these stats are horrible, um, and and depending on your niche, you know maybe average session duration of, of just two minutes and twenty seconds is horrible. But I find that these stats have worked out for me pretty well. Anything below again an eighty percent bounce rate, I think is fine. Two minutes or or higher, average uh, session duration is fine. Anything two pages or higher for pages per session is fine. So that's just sort of my generic guidelines based on my own experience. Again, I'm not claiming that's the best, but it seems to work for me. So anyway, I hope this helped, guys. Again, this is what your first six months of running your business will probably look like. It's sort of depressing to see how you're going to be at a baseline there for so long, but do not give up. Give it at least six to 12 months because this is what happens. It's like, boom, all of a sudden you start getting that traffic. And, uh, and again, now two years later... I'm getting like, you know, four times this traffic um, daily, which this was per week. And I'm getting that about four times per day at this point now. So, all right, that's it. I'm going to leave you with that. I hope this helped. Again, check out more advice at affiliatemarketertraining.com and you all take care.